Oh, hey, did we go? Yes, hey, we are. Live. There we go. We're, we're live guys. now. All right. Are we right on freaking time? How about Man, that? Yeah, I tell you what, I don't mess around. Damn. He He's just lying. He totally messes around. Time. Let's scroll down real quick. Let's first uh, acknowledge Who's first? everybody. Tell X how long you've been waiting back there. By <laughs> um, and just so you know, the Scotch Whore is my title. So don't you go trying to take, you know, geez, we put you on the show one time and you, you just. You have to go head to head to take next, the title. Next thing you know, he's going to take my seat. Um, Got to beat the man to be the man. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> or the whore for that matter. Woo! Um, I'll referee that fight. Yeah, right. Uh, we got Mark, Tram Dudes on. I see John is on. Yeah, they were early, weren't they? And I don't know if you guys can see in the background, but we've got a guest tonight. So Heck yeah, we do. A very special guest. I don't know if guest. you guys know who that is. We'll get to her in One just a second. One of you does. Um, <laughs> what do you do? Excited to have her on the show and hear what she's got to say. She's got some good stuff to share with us. Yep. Um, let's see, what is going on? Before we get too deep and before we forget... I want to throw it out there right now. Let's get a picture of what you're drinking tonight. Oh, I like it. I like it. What are you drinking you tonight? Bottle? So I just filled up. So I want to put it out there early, and, and I'll remind people yeah, throughout we, the show. Yeah, because we haven't had a lot of participation because lately. Because this week, we're going to go look back at the Facebook page, and we're going to pick the favorite picture, <laughs> and Ooh, they're gonna, yes. we're going to send them uh, a bottle hanger for the p favorite what you're drinking tonight picture. I like it. <laughs> Did you kill yeah. that? And be killed creative. Much was be creative people. He killed the pig. Pick for you. We want to see your face too. Killed the awesome. pig. All right, give me a few more minutes. <laughs> what? You got this? I gotta take a picture. Uh, right Mark right. says, Mark "Who's that hot-looking babe on the screen?" <laughs> <laughs> but she's I'm mama back here with you, Mark. What's up? All right, with here that? we go. Oh, we're going that way. All right, everybody in there. What you drinking? What's up? Got it. There we go. All right. So again, you guys, take a picture of what you're drinking. Post it on the Facebook page. After the show is over, the four of us are going to go over to Facebook, take a look, and select a lucky winner. Um, on that note, I don't see Spigot on yet. We still haven't got his address from last week. So, um, Robert, FYI, Andrew does have your uh, bottle of honey, and it, yes. we do have your address. So, that will be en route ASAP. Um, Glenn Fittick, uh, 15 Solera. Ah, you know, Robert, I used to be in love with that bottle. And then somebody brought home the Glenfiddich 18 Small Batch Reserve, and I almost cried because I fell out of love with the Glenfiddich 15. <laughs> that Small Batch Reserve is good stuff. It's, it's, it's delicious. It is good. Mm. But, yeah, Andrew likes it. Yeah, <laughs> I do. But so anyway, we can have back here. No more hands. Hey, we'll get to her in just oh, one second. I want to talk about it's been, we, we got it's been a long guys. week. It has been I a just want to say happy Thursday, guys. Happy, happy Thursday. Lee, you, you too. It's to Lee, everyone. Out there. Um, yeah, let's you know, introduce her. She's, on the she's drinking so, better than we are. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. All right, but so I want, what I want to see her is take a picture that's of a fancy herself. Glass. I like your glass. And the camera and uh, I want to see her take a picture of herself for the camera to take a picture of her. <laughs> put your put your phone in front of the laptop of you. No, she can just show the bottle and to be honest. Right. Oh. That's right. Oh my oh, gosh! gosh. Oh, Party foul! Party foul! Special glass. I'm drinking out of. This is um. So what? You tell us what you're drinking, Lee. What's yeah. going on back there? Um, I'm drinking Lagavulin 16. Um, that I got for 25 bucks less than I buy in the Louisiana. Amen. Nice. Wow. She's in Vermont on vacation. So she's up in Vermont. This is Lee. And I'm drinking um, out of a Simon Pierce hand blown glass, cordial glass. It's just absolutely divine. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. It's blue. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, uh, Wicked Mark, awesome. I got you one too, so we have a matching pair. Oh, so sweet, Mark. Oh, man. Not Mark, not that Mark. <laughs> oh, this Mark? Uh, uh, <laughs> Um, so it is National Scotch Day. Yeah, so we'll get to that, but now that we've, we've broken the ice with Lee, we want to hear about Lee. So everybody, if you guys have been logging into the channel for a long time, um, you Lee should has know been. Who Lee she started Usually we're up on Lee's TV. Right. Tonight she's up on That's ours. That's right. Right. So this is kind <laughs> of How you like fun. them apples? <laughs> I remember the first time Mark and Lee mm. sent us a picture of them watching the channel, and it was us on their big screen TV, and I was like, It was like our first or second was, major yeah, live. Really like, weird. What? <laughs> <laughs> but, but we loved it. <laughs> right. It was awesome. But um, they obviously have been hanging around and coming around the show, and so we wanted to get Leon. She sent us a sample of this week's review. That's what we posted. Yes. So that sample came from her, and uh, we're obviously going to dive into the details on that. But Delicious. Lee, 
Why don't you take it over and introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you. Um, obviously, you're from Louisiana, or that's where you live now. I don't know if that's where you're from, but I'll, you take over. Uh, well, I'm definitely a Southern girl. Um, uh, Mark, um, I have a cousin, Mark Rainer, and I um, live in Baton Rouge, uh, capital of Louisiana, and uh, we have a, um, a family of us and two dogs. That's um, <laughs> Only two? two dogs. Mark actually works at the animal shelter, and <laughs> yep. we've done a lot of fostering. We've had over 40 dogs come through our house over the last yeah. couple of years. Wow. And, and I leave to come on vacation. And nice. <laughs> Have fun with the dogs. <laughs> so the next question is, Mark, what's going on down there? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pot at he can have more dogs. That's okay. Um, but yes, we had that. We had a camp. We we enjoyed LSU football, and um, we have a super group of fan friends. And my family is still there. And um, so yeah, we we have a lot of fun and enjoy that. And kind of happened upon you guys and, and sat down. I was like, come here, come watch this. this is kind of cool. <laughs> Look at these four dummies. <laughs> Was it like a train wreck? Is that you're like, watch these guys? Oh my god, look at this shit! Look away. What is going on? What what attracted me is that y'all didn't know much. Oh, that's what we are—the four dummies. Oh Oh my gosh! So how long have you been drinking? Yeah, that's the next question. How long, like? how long have you been drinking scotch? What got you into it? How long have you been drinking scotch? I've been drinking scotch since September of last year when wow. um, I decided to go to Scotland by myself for two weeks. Damn, Mark. Um, so I just kind of was like, okay, honey, I'm going to go take a little walkabout. And um, I was in Edinburgh for four days. Oh, I love and that place. I, there's home. a fine line like between home. brave and dumb. And... <laughs> And I walked it a couple of times. <laughs> oh my I went a car um, oh, yeah. a stick shift. So oh. I was driving a stick shift, shifting with the left hand because you're in the wrong seat. Oh, that's so true. I didn't think side. about that. Yeah. Right. Is the clutch on the other yeah. side, too? Is it clutch yeah. on the... Oh, I guess wow. it is. Hell. No, it can't you know, the, the gas and clutch is all the same. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It has to be. Yeah. I was going to say, because that would mess that me would completely mess up. up. <laughs> the gear shifts were all jacked up. Right. And um, so I took off and ended up going um, up through Alberfeldy, where Dewar's is. Yeah. Uh, and then I uh, went up to Culloden. I went up to Skye. Um, didn't Shit. go to Talisker, but wow. I'm all listening. Um, and I ended up, again, music is a big deal. Um, I'm going to Newport Folk Festival on Saturday and Sunday nice. after I leave here um, tomorrow. But um, I went to the Jura Music Festival, and so I had to get on the Isla, and then from Isla take the ferry to Jura, and so I went to Laphroaig and to Jura, and also Oban. And you you still and, came home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she does love you, Mark. It's tough. <laughs> <laughs> I got that rage, so you know. So, um, and really, I love the whole idea of the manufacturing and the process and right. the chemical change and and all of that and how different Oven was compared to, of course, Lafroid, which kind of tastes like looking the inside of a barbecue pit. Yeah. Um, it sounds to, good to me. To yeah. Pura, it's just much lighter and not as much peat. Um, right. They really just. The peat in Jura 16 is one of the um, Jura Sun. They don't make it more, damn it. I know, that um, bottle's great. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's we actually have it down but, here. Um, so hmm. I guess this no, is. But I didn't buy it. That, the I only did. peat that's in that is mm. what came in the water. Right. So it's, it's just really interesting to learn all about that. And then I started, well, I'll learn when I get more, when I get home. And that's how I found y'all. Well, we're glad you did because nice. we've enjoyed it. I don't know how many people don't know it because we were pretty boisterous about it, but Lee and Mark sent us a bunch of stuff for our crawfish boil that we had about a month ago. Oh, yeah, that was um, great. We had a, a we had a hell of a time. It was great. It was good food. The job live was great. Uh, everything was just awesome. So thank you for that. Thank you, Mark. Um, well, thank you, Sean. But yeah, thanks yeah. for for cooking it. So. I've been known to cook a couple things. Yeah, so. he can throw down. He put an angle in it. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
My family's from the South, so I know how to do it. <laughs> but let's dive into this bottle that we reviewed this week, that the sample that you sent us. So how long ago did you pick this bottle up? Uh, probably about uh, four or five months ago. And then the, the batch three. Yeah, so yeah. you picked up both bottles relatively next to each other? Or? I, I, well, we tasted it, and I was like, oh, okay. Because um, there's really two, three places in town that have an extensive scotch uh, selection. Okay. One is a, is a real high-end grocery store, and usually their prices are, are, are stupid. I mean, like, <laughs> Bill, Lago Bill and 16 is 125 bucks there. That's wow. what it is so, here. That's the same price. Yeah. You know, um, and then we have a cigar uh, whiskey bar. And um, it's like really a package store and a bar. And that's where we picked it up at one of, for 105 And so I was like, well, I'll go to the grocery store just to see. And I sat there and I, I visit the Scotch section at the grocery store <laughs> often. <laughs> so you pull up comments I from go, the show? Mm, what's the budget this, you know, this month? Yeah, right. um, and they had it. And so I was like, can you, and they're like, can you see how much that is, you know? And she said, uh, it's $85. And you're like, like it's coming at home. <laughs> and I can go all the way to... Yes, Robert. Well, Juror 16 quick, is right here. Change it's it's, it's always gone. good when you find somebody that's selling something they don't realize they shouldn't be selling for that. Well, yeah. <laughs> you tell them I'm after you've in. purchased it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 um, well, I don't. there's been a lot of comments on it out there. And a lot yeah, of so talk let's talk about, let's talk about it. It's Glendronic. Cast strength batch three, which is bottled in 2013. Right. So I'm, so I'm amazed that you could still get bottles a couple months ago. Yeah, really. It's, I mean, it's, it's four years. It's discontinued everywhere else. It's really amazing. It's an NAS, but yeah. there's a, there's there's good information about the age of the juice that's in it, right? Well, not a whole lot. I mean, there there's some talk because it was right in that transition where Glendronic was reopening. Right. And the 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 uh, casts they had were all 12 to 15 years old at that time. And so it's likely, while it is non-aged, there may be some new, some fresh stuff in there to uh, to stretch it. But a lot of that is probably a 12 to 15 year old Scotch. Telex, you might not be the, the Scotch whore, but you can be the Scotch dirty girl if you break that quarter cast open. <laughs> you should do it. Do uh, it. Uh, it's QA cast. Uh, uh, cast. Oh, 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 I thought QA it was the quarter cast. cast. That's the duty free one. Oh yeah, you gotta break that open. Anyway, so back to the bottle, the, the batch yeah. three, because. A lot of people were commenting about the other versions, the other batches, you know. Batch four, five, uh -huh. six are all out there. Yep. Right. And, and I, I can't say I've seen any of them on the shelves. I've not. I've not at all. Um, but we live in Indiana. And yeah. We don't necessarily have access to everything that is good. Yep. Well, we enjoyed it, though. I mean, it, it was, was amazingly good. Batch two has been mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. What time? Um, paid 90 bucks for it. Somebody, uh, I was done. What would you rate it, Lee? If you... Um, I, I rated it at a 3.5. Did you? Um, because, because I, I feel like I'm tending to go towards the sherry, mm -hmm. so yep. I'm liking that a lot. Um, and even at cast strength, I mean, it, it kind of, you know, got you on the front end a little bit, but it had a good mouthfeel. It was well-rounded to me, um, and it lingered. It had a good linger afterwards yeah. cast, without taking breath away. <laughs> cast strength, though. Yeah. I mean, you're going to get that with cast strength. Mm -hmm. I thought it held water. Yeah, it, I, I thought it held water. It had fine. good depth of it flavor. Was, it, was yeah. a, it was a great glass. It yeah. really was. I see Dram Dude says he's got an open <clears throat> bottle of it. Uh, where are you at, Dram Dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. We'd like to, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, and they had a two, a batch two, but I did a, a quick, while we're in the store, I did a quick search, yep. and um, I, I'm trying to remember where I found it, but basically the, the three was preferred to the two. So I was like, okay, you know. So if you have a choice. I, yeah, that's, that's what I read too, so yeah. That's a good clarification, Dram, dude. I was going to say, because okay. if you're saying you have too much scotch, that you have more scotch than you should have, that's... That's not right. And if that's your wife saying that's it, right. yeah. we, we restocked the bar recently, and we definitely don't have enough scotch. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, 130 bottles is too much. No, that's, no, that's no. just getting into the zone. Right? <laughs> well, when, when, 100, when you have 130 bottles, you don't need to share. Well, <laughs> at least you have the opportunity to share. Yeah. Um, 
So I got another question for you, Leanne. I was I went back looking through some of the comments, um, whether it was emails with you or comments from other shows, and you had made a comment that you had an interesting story about hurricanes at Pat O'Brien. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so look at that. We pulled that one out. She can doesn't you, remember that can one. Can you speak right, of this so live? Just remember, <laughs> if your husband's aware of this mm -hmm. and you hold back, he can <laughs> share. Um, so we just, you, have, a, have a sip first if you yeah, have to. Yeah, take another big swig of that <laughs> Bobby One Sixteen and enlighten us. Courage. Courage. Okay. So um, we're we're very big LSU football fans, um, and this is pre Katrina, so keep that in sure. mind. Um, this 2003, we um, played the national championship game in New Orleans um, against Oklahoma, and. So we were doing some pre-gaming um, on Bourbon Street, and <laughs> it's, a, it's a phenomenon that happens when you give Pat O'Brien's uh, hurricane, you taste the alcohol in the first three sips, but after that, you don't taste the alcohol. <laughs> after your third hurricane, it's just punch, right? It's punch. That's right. Cool well, stuff making our way to the dome, to the Superdome for the game, and I just here. happened to step <laughs> off of the curb the wrong way, oh. and um, oh, no. did not spill my drink, thank you, because that's a cardinal sin. You saved the anyway. drink! <laughs> nice. That's a Pat O'Brien glass. <laughs> kind of twisted my ankle, and Mark had the decision of whether or not to leave me at Charity Hospital oh, and come back, back on me at halftime. Or they helped me lift to the dome, and we made it to the dome. Yeah, this game, and we won our second national championship. Nice. Well, with three hurricanes in you, were gonna feel like things all the next day anyway. Doesn't matter next day anyway. Doesn't matter. So, so my question is: Did you guys order the picture of hurricanes? Have you seen the pictures? Oh, those are huge. They're like five gallons, aren't they? Yeah, they're ridiculous. I want yeah, one so like bad. Fifty bucks for a picture. Though, I know. It? Well, the last time we were there, nobody would go in with me. <laughs> yeah, they I thought mean, it'd be a bad idea because it's made with all fits, you, right? They just yeah. pour the whole bottle. You would have right? gone in with me. I'd go in with you, brother. I'm not. All right. That. So, guys, Swami just checked in. Hey, hey, hey. So, Swami, we found Swami. a better looking replacement for you tonight. <laughs> so, uh, you guys may not know Swami was supposed to be on the night, but he had uh, traveled to cool back or something and. Something came Something up. Something came <laughs> up, so he couldn't make it. But he's on right now, so say hi to him, and we're going to get hey, him hey, on hey, at the end of uh, next month. Robert, we are digging the larger yes, glasses. Yes, we are. I like these. <laughs> yes, obviously you can tell because we're, we're drinking out of them. But um, You can really get your nose in these. Yeah, Yeah. so this might not be fair. Aren't least, they bigger to put Since you're on the, the show right, right now. But, That's it. Um, Who cares about them? We do, have, uh, we do have a couple of trivia questions. Last week we had a trivia question, which we thought was kind of fun. And Spigot... Uh, well, actually, Robert won the honey, yeah. so you still had that coming. But Spigot, to, it was quick on the draw, and we thought we'd throw him a, a bottle hanger, too. He just hasn't given us his address. So we want to throw another uh, bottle hanger in for, uh, for a trivia. And so the question that we came up today, so obviously, I don't know if you've all heard about it, today is National Scotch Day. Mm -hmm. Here, here, it, cheers. In the United cheers. States. In the United cheers, States. Lee. National Scotch Day in the United States. Cheers. Uh, Where's yours? He's got bourbon. <laughs> it's empty. Cheers, Lee. Anyway, to that. Nothing. You should get something. I agree. In light Boogers. of that knowledge, we want to say, uh, ask the, the, the trivia question, when is International Scotch Day? And why was that Imagine. day chosen? Oh, it's be, a double whammy. Yeah, I'm why was that both day questions. chosen? Both questions. Got to be in your answer. For international. So your answer has to have both answers. So if somebody answers first part, you still have to put first part for your answer. So go for it. Uh, I'll ask it again. By the way, there's a couple new people that have logged on. You guys need to throw a picture of what you're drinking. Hit it on our Facebook so that you can be in the uh, drawing for the um, for the bottle hanger because we're going to pick the best picture. We're trying to get some interesting ones out there on the Facebook page. And, and we would love so. to get your bottle hanger pictures too. Telex posted one, I think. Uh, yeah, this, that was cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, bar. It's cool seeing them hang on, on different bottles. Yeah. Um, It'd be cool if they're hanging on bottles that were sent to us, but that's all right. Tell us, did, did. <laughs> we got a bunch of bottles back there. We've, we've got a lot of uh, samples that showed up uh, from you. And oh, yeah. We're, we're quite excited about that. So, 
We do have to, I, I want to take, the, the trivia question was one thing, but we wanted to break it open for some other questions. And Lee, this is for you okay. as well. Um, very interested in your input on this. But we talked last week about the Whiskey Expo that's coming up. Um, Vine and Table. Did open that last week? Mm. Vine and Table has been um, know, right? gracious enough to actually offer Somebody's us a booth this did. year. They want right, us well, to yeah. do a special booth and display the social aspect of Scotch. Yep. Which is really so, what we're doing right here. It's what we've been doing for two years, right? That's what we do well, every week. We've got somebody on the, on behind us. we got all you guys out there and, and we're global uh, right now. comment land. So. We, we've got time. The, the, the expo's in what, October? That's a new record, you're right. 31. Yeah, October 13th. So we've got a few months. We want to get some input. What would you guys like to see us do at this expo? Are you interested in logging on to an expo? I mean, it's, yeah. we're probably going to try to do a three or four hour live show. Would you be interested in logging in for a period of time or maybe more than once? What kind of things you want to see? What kind of questions? What would you like to see us do? We, we want to make it interesting. We want to make it interactive. We're talking about competition. Yeah, hoop competition. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Belly see. dancing. Uh, it may happen. You never know. It's a couple we, bottles. We also want to get. Uh, we're gonna have a TV behind us, right? Right. We're gonna try to set it up just like this. We might pull some of the uh, the other expo goers uh, to do random reviews. Right. Yes, some that's the plan. That we have. Um, we're gonna try and get some ambassadors involved. Some brand ambassadors. So we're gonna try and get a brand ambassador and one of the guys at the at the expo to sit down. We'll drink some scotch together. Talk about it. So. Another reason to go, you want to meet in Indianapolis, October 13th, um, log, register. Yeah, with, if you're local uh, enough to drive yeah. in, that, that, I mean, it'd be awesome. You'll yeah. see us Have there, you can get a camera there. with us, you can meet some of the best brand ambassadors and drink scotch with them and, and talk about somebody that knows their scotch. I think we're going to try yeah, and also, uh, the salsa did show up. Right? Yep, we're pretty excited about the whole deal. The salsa's here. Tell it's us. sitting right back there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, think about it. We, you don't have to have an answer tonight, but if you're thinking about, you know, uh, the, the live expo, um, Since it's if scotch. you're within yeah. range of driving <laughs> in or you've got an idea that you want to get involved with it with us, or, you know, hey, you let us paper? know. We've got some time to put this together. So we're really starting to throw the ideas at the wall right now to see what sticks. So with that being Probably. said, I don't see any answers on the International Scotch Day. Wow, that's pretty sad, you guys. You have Google at your fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you get computer um, in one hand Lee's and scotch in the other, that's that's you, you can see Lisa looking it up on her screen. Know. Know do. Lee's got her phone. She's like, ah, da, da, da. The, the difficult part is why is it that day? That's a yes. tough one. Why is it? Why did they choose that day? And I think we're also going to try and get some whiskey fabric going on as well. As far well, as yeah. Things. So I well, talk so, about whiskey fabric. Well, hold on. Uh, uh, Alan had a question while we're still on the talk of the expo. Uh, vine and Table, is that the, what's yeah. there? Oh, Just let me Google Vine and Table in uh, Whiskey Can you expo. put it on the comments? Yeah, I can actually. Yeah, Go Drew, ahead and talk. Drew will uh, pull it up and throw it in the he's, comments. He's yeah. awesome like that. Um, I do what you ask. <laughs> he's the it guy. No, he doesn't. <laughs> 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 hey, Alan, by the way, thank you. I just wanted to say that. Um, what's Telex talking about? Some we, someone finally answered. I went, where, where, where's the answer? I don't see it. All right, so let's... International Scotch Day is Alexander Walker's birthday, February 10th. Bingo. Who got he, that? He nailed them both. Wow. Feral Barrel got it? Yep, Feral Barrel. Listen, Feral Barrel... Scotch for dummies at gmail.com. You need to send us your address. We'll get that in the mail. Scotch that tomorrow. for dummies. Yep. Number number four. Yeah, scotch at number gmail. four dummies at. Uh, Why don't you yeah, type, type in our email so people can. Hey, Scott's on. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Scott. Um, Feral Barrel, get us your address and we'll uh, we'll drop one of the bottle hangers in the uh, in the mail to you tomorrow. Hi. Hey, hey, what's going on? Who are you? Hey, <laughs> hey, your life. Extra special guest. Extra special guest. Where's your scotch? Where's your scotch? <laughs> Where's your scotch? <laughs> Not a scotch drinker. It's okay. He's a bourbon drinker. So it's okay. It's we have bourbon drinkers. Margaritas. Oh. Hey, margaritas. Oh, okay. Scott, you're just a few seconds late. If you want to grab a picture of what you're drinking and throw it on our Facebook, we'd, uh, we'd love to see what you got in hand. Um, we were talking about the uh, Whiskey Expo and what we're going to do, so we're definitely interested in hearing some of your comments and ideas of that. But, um, Drew, you wanted to talk about the, the whiskey fabric, and I don't well, know if any, it, I think some people have heard about it. It's, but it's out there. I mean, I didn't coin it. I'm just, no. I'm just stealing it as, as well as everyone else. Basically, it's, you know, the whole thing is that 
we're we're all doing this because of our love and passion for scotch, right? Mm -hmm. right. We're not right. we're not making a dime off this thing, honestly. So it's 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 one of these things where we're doing the same thing as some of the other ones, like malted, you know, test dummies. Uh, whiskey, and the six, a lot of other ones, right? And we're all doing whiskey it. Whiskey, there's there's, uh, there's a, a ton of, of it, and it's blogging, it's everything else. And it's so good stuff. It's good stuff. It's basically the point is, it's, it's collaboration. It's a way for us to share our love and and, and for scotch and everything else with everyone else. So yeah. there's no competition. It's the point. And so what we're doing, and we're starting it now. We're starting with actually this this Sunday, we're going to be on the Test Dummies live show. Yeah, I'm looking forward and to that one. Vice versa, we're going to have them on eventually. We've got a bunch of live people coming on our shows. We got. Uh, Swami was supposed to be on the night, but he got rescheduled to the end of next month. We've got Whiskey and Six next week. We've got, um, who else, guys? The Whis Whiskey Dictionary is coming on. Um, so we're trying to share our love and, and compassion with everyone else and, and, and share the, the moments what we have with other right. Uh, YouTubers. Right. And that, that, that whole idea, that process, that, is, that concept is being coined the Whiskey Fabric. And it so, makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, we want to contribute to it. I like the idea. So we were going to be drinking yeah, anyway. Yeah, scotch is always anyway, right? <laughs> yes, I mean scotch is always better when you're among friends, and we can extend our friendship with the 30 people that we have online right now. That's what it's about. Yeah, and absolutely. We're, again, yeah. And you I know, it might be a daydream or a pie in the sky Scotches. dream, but if we can make this strong enough with Scotch test dummies and. Uh, Malted Swami. and Swami and Whiskey and Six, and we can I build it strong like enough and yeah. actually do some kind of whiskey comp, you know, conference or, or expo yeah, somewhere centrally wait. located where we can all just converge on a location and all meet and get drink together, up all their scotch, and drink a shit ton of scotch, <laughs> good scotch, mind you. I think that'd be pretty fun because you know we can get some ambassadors to show up, right? Um, as long as we bring the crowd and you know we we'll, we'll keep growing, we'll try. So for all of you that are just tuning in. I know that Scott's from Test Dummies is asking a question, but we do have Lee, one of our uh, subscribers with us live tonight, who has uh, sent us some nice stuff, some, some good salsa and some good spices, if you will. But uh, He's got a line of cool. How you doing back there, Lee? You doing all right? Yeah, doing good. How, how's that Scott's treating you? Hey, how much is left in that bottle? Probably <laughs> <laughs> um, about... Uh, no, no. Not enough. Work, about the time I get home Tuesday. Tell you what. <laughs> All right. Excellent. That'd be a, you need to pour some more. That'd be a fun fishing trip. Louisiana? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, Mark, we're, we're, we're thinking about it. We've actually got a date in mind already. Your, mind, your, your wife threw a date that we should consider to come down and see the old fish cabin. I don't know. It might, be, a, might be more yeah. than just one day. <laughs> <laughs> um, down and back pretty fast, yeah. Yes, Telex. We could we could coin it something like Dummy Con, although that wouldn't be fair to Whiskey and Six and and, and Swami. So what? We'll, we'll, trust me, we would come the, up with something fun. The, the point is, is, there's there's definitely talks. Nothing serious at this point to be completely transparent. But there's, there's talks Alex. that we were we are trying to get something together with a lot of YouTubers and, and friends and everything else. Chicago has been mentioned because it is a close international spot. For right. most people, um, but nothing has been set date wise or anything else. But there are yeah. talks about it. So, uh, this whole whiskey fabric thing is probably what I'm talking about. Yes. It's, All it's we gotta do is keep talking about and, it. And keep going. Andrew, I'm gonna cancel your restart. Well, All we gotta do is just keep talking about it and build it. And you know, it, it'll it'll happen someday. It will happen. So, what else is going uh, on, guys? So, we are drinking. Um, Kibokin. Kibokin. Yeah, we were drinking. We started off with this uh, Gordon McPhail Highland Park. Uh, Contributed to us by uh, yeah, the man I mean, back yeah, there. Yeah, already. But Mr. Mike Hatfield here. Quick. <laughs> yeah, our, it, our bourbon drinker of the, cool. the group. It's good. Yeah, he, he, it was not Schlitz. He no. picked that up on a whim, and um, obviously we enjoyed it because yeah. it's almost gone. <laughs> We're starting to get was some photos Schlitz? too, Mark. Might have been uh, Schlitz. Schlitz. What did you say? We're getting photos. <clears throat> we only got three we? photos on there now. We got like five or six now. What? Yeah. Oh wow, we are. Yep. I like it. Hmm. It's not too like Yeah. Oh, and did you see? So if you go go to the go to our Facebook site. I have and Swami, Swami Geo Suave is like the whole bar listed behind him. He's gonna have Ooh, a good time. Whoa, that's what's, Swami, isn't it, Monted? What's, yeah. what's Swam got going on? He's, there. he's at a bar. He's like gonna take the whole bar down. That's a nice bar. Good for him. That's Don't be shy, Swami. Well, he's traveling. I mean, you know. <laughs> let's try and pick out what they got up there. I see a Marangi, a Blue Label, Kavalin. Nice. That is Indian, isn't it? Didn't we see that at the? I don't like it. That's a nice we one. We saw we saw Kavalin at um, 
by a table. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Taiwanese, maybe? So what am I missing? Quarter cask. Jim D is drinking some quarter cask, y'all. There's a lot of bottles behind him, too. Yeah, there is. <laughs> What's wrong? Robert Kiel or something. Robert Hendricks is drinking. That's awesome. Sean Prue. Ball too. Ball player 2 I don't even know what that is. Never heard of that. Ball what are you guys talking about? <laughs> We're talking about. Ooh, what is this? Oh, Dalmore 50. Okay, ooh, okay, we that. guys. Um, you guys go to go to Facebook hey. and look at this. This guy's showing a bottle here that he's drinking tonight. Dalmore Distillery, 15 year bottle in 1999. Wow. So it's an, oh, I mean, the bottle does not. It's not Dalmore. It oh, it's a, it's independent bottler. It's an it is. Independent oh, it's Burning Company. Yeah. Well, Age I bet 15 you that's year. good oh, shit. Oh, it's distilled in 1999. So it's an independent bottler. Again, a great choice because you can get some good stuff for that. I'd say I'm really into the entire huh? these days. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. What's it saying? Not that I was Taiwan. reading Scott's. Yeah, Scott's Taiwan, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we were looking Tell at me what you're stuff. doing this weekend. Tell them what you're doing this weekend, Lee. Yeah, what are you, she, so Lee, what are you doing this weekend? Music a Newport festival? Music Festival? What's, who's playing there? Um. Okay, so it starts tomorrow, but I'm going Saturday and Sunday. And it's um, the, one of the premier folk festivals. So to Saturday, um, I kind of like the Avet Brothers. I've just okay. Them. Like, this is my thirty-first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess you kind of like them. Do they know you? Have you like met them? Um, yeah, and their parents. Um, their dad. You met their parents? Them. What? And so they come and they play. He's played in Baton Rouge a couple times, and so their parents come and stay with me and Mark. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so you kind of know them. Um, yeah, you okay. know them pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but Wilco's playing. Um, oh, I like Wilco. Uh, some really good, just real good folks that you don't hear of. There's a, a guy named Robert Ellis that's playing. He's out of Houston. He's just incredible. Has his parents and, stayed at your house? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go there Saturday and, and then Sunday, and then I go to Boston for a couple of days and, and come home Tuesday. Nice. Man, man, you're like I living mean, the dream I'm right now. Home. You, you're having all kinds of fun. Does Mark ever go anywhere? <laughs> you know, sometimes it's hard to yank him out of that. Uh, <laughs> we'll come to you, we'll Mark. Come to you, Mark. <laughs> we'll just come to you then. We'll but, take you out um, to the Mark can come here. Yeah, Mark yeah, can come so, here. Like, I went to Scotland last year, and he got to see how much fun I had. So he's decided he wants to go. So that's why we're trying to try see, plan that's to way to do it. around Fayol next year in May. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you can have a blast in Indianapolis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I see that uh, Mark is sending Elise kind of the Ford Observer. Check it out. See if it's good. Where do I need to go? She scouts and it then, all. And she scouts it out. Yeah. Then he comes along. Oh, oh, that's, that's cool. I don't know. That's him. cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, what are you guys reading? So you're reading reading comments, but we're not hearing them. So what's yeah, going? we're just trying to catch up and see what's going on in the side conversations. We're, There's lots of people on, and that's cool. I mean, that's, that's we're also approaching notes. the time of. Uh, in our show, where normally the wheels come off and we start drinking, after. right? Yeah, usually. <laughs> you know what, though, I do. We almost need a bell that goes off. So, oh, there it goes. I do have one. Some so bottles that normally is, don't get open get open. Is Robert still on? <laughs> right. Shit, you know, did Robert Hammond? Yeah, did yeah. Robert log off? Um, uh, I don't think so. Okay, so uh, there's a, another good. part of the show that I tried to, to conceptualize on things that we want to do, and one of the things is called the rewind, and and basically. I read the comments from last week's live show and actually the week before to find out what we missed. I mean, sometimes these comments are flying across the screen so quick and we get into conversations that we miss something that is actually pretty relevant or is a good question or we didn't come up with a good answer. Jim and so, lost video. Um, Jim lost video. one of the things that I, I wanted to talk about, off. Robert had made a comment that um, he said after a year of drinking scotch, he's still not able to pick up on subtle notes. He actually had a phrase for it. He said, scotch for the palate impaired. <laughs> and, and I felt kind of bad. I was like, you know, we need to talk about that a little bit more. And so that's where Did I want to go with it. Wheel. So honestly, there you are, Robert. I, actually, before you even get to the flavor wheel, I would say yeah, that's true. what you need to do is look at some reviews and read what they put on the label because those are the main flavors that the distiller is trying to tell you that you're going to pick out. Right, that's Are you going to pick them all out? No. 
they're going to make up some weird stuff. Are they going to be not gonna accurate be able to all the time? No. no, but you know, and everybody's palate is different. But you'll get at least some of those main flavors. So taking a sip and just focusing on one or two of those things to try and pick out those flavors and train your mind to be able to identify, you know, that particular thing, yeah. and then you'll start to branch out from those basic things into finer and finer detail, and you'll start to identify stuff that's familiar to you. It may not right. be what somebody else is going to taste, gonna but like, ahead. you know, Drew will taste something from his childhood. Burnt uh, multiple toast. times. Yeah, burnt, <laughs> but, burnt toast is batter, huge. Burnt But it's toast. something that's familiar to you, that's yeah. ingrained in your Very mind, true. and you know that flavor every time you taste it. Yep, and so right. when you take a sip of something, that's part of that palate experience. Yeah, so, exactly. And we're all sensitive to different things. Right. I, I mean, for the first year of reviews, I'd stick my nose in a glass and be like, smells like used tire. I yeah. smell rubber. Well, I mean, these guys aren't, weren't going to taste <laughs> marzipan because they've never had way. marzipan before. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But, but you know what? He brought some marzipan to us, and I was like, I'll be damned. You're right. I taste that in this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, marzipan. I mean, but it's, you know, it, everybody's got a different experience. Yeah. So, you know, and, and some people have broader palates than others. You just do. Right. And, going to taste it more does things. help to drink with it to, to do this with other absolutely people, you know you sit down with a couple other people and, and get what they taste out of it while you're with them and, and talk to them about it so the the, the back to the uh, wheel though this does help I mean you, you this does at least spark things in your mind it when does you read, but you know, drinking you a scotch least... together really is a community thing right you do you really do kind of Spawn off I, each other's comments. And I get more out of what you guys talk about than I do out of the flavor wheel, to be honest with you. Sure. I, I only use the flavor wheel if there's something very specific that I just can't put can't my finger, finger on. Yeah. But normally, it, it's, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, and the reason I, I, have, keep, I keep the book in front of me, I keep the flavor, flavor wheel more than most because it's in my wheelhouse. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's because He said drink. <laughs> oh, shit, we got a drink. Lee, yeah. drink. Yeah. Anyway. Because it's the first one, when, when, I'm, when I'm drinking a, a scotch, dang it, gee darn, <laughs> when, when, when I'm drinking a scotch, I don't think of artificial flavor, which would include nail polish remover, fruit <laughs> pastry, and rig licorice. Right. You know, but but as you see those terms, I'm like, and that's why you kind of have to put it on your palate, <laughs> and then you read the wheel, and you start to see, do I taste any of that in there? And pickle tree bar. <laughs> Hey, well, Spigot, thanks, thanks for joining on. We still need your address. Email yeah, us. Email Scotch us, for dummies at gmail.com. And you know what? I will I will personally tell you, I've had to sit in wine tastings with sommeliers, and sometimes people just What's make up, stuff six? up. You know what I mean? They're arrogant and pretentious, right. and they think that you're not going to call them on it. I will absolutely call you on yeah. it. <laughs> really? Pickled tree bark. And how many times have you tasted pickled I, tree bark? I will bark? totally call have bullshit. Have some of that every week, right? Um, Come on. This berry was massaged for three months. <laughs> slowly, <laughs> slowly, very slowly. We by, rubbed it with Vaseline into it, ripened into the grapefruit. But you know what? By a young man. I, I will say that I think scotch, just like wine and a lot of other stuff, people get too hung up on it. Yeah. You know, right. and you get way too pretentious and way Don't too Don't be protective. so serious about it. Just Everybody's relax. gonna have a different experience with it. If yep. you enjoy it, awesome. You know, right. that that's what it's there for. So, so Whiskey and Six just joined. Yeah, we got him on next week. I we think. got you on next week, I believe. Yeah, so he, and he just did the, the the Glen, uh, um, the same one, but batch two. Batch two. Batch two. Yeah, it was the batch, batch two. two yeah. Drunk, right. Yep. Check out his video. Yeah, last check week. his video out. It was uh, I watched it uh, actually just the other day. Um, so looking forward did, to. We three, need to collaborate before two. we collaborate right. to to make sure we're on the same page. Who but, wants to um, send us another? Batch four? Four? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Batch one would be if fine, too. If we could be choosy, we would rather go up in batch numbers than down. Honestly, right? we got a lot of stuff we to get to back there. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot to drink. We're, we're not, not going to turn any salsa away, but... Uh-oh. It just it's may take spinning it. out of control, boys. Yep, yep. It's, uh, it's about that time. It's about that time. It's what close. are we drinking? <laughs> we need some, so, that. You we know need what, some gas drink. Before we let the wheels come off, what what are we doing after the show? John. Black Shampoo. We're watching a movie that Sean picked out for us called Black Shampoo. So go ahead and Google that. And it's on Amazon. It is on Currently. Amazon. It is not Black Dynamite. It is not Black Dynamite. That's but it's a different Black story. Shampoo. But I think this is going to be on par with it. So it's, we shall see. It's, it's a good movie. Can you guys try Mac Amber and let me know what you think? It gets bad reviews, but I thought it was great. I wonder if that will be at the Expo. 
Probably. You know it, I don't know. How how old is it? Well, it's their their non age. They're, they're, yeah. McKellen is doing like a an right. amber, a gold, and a ruby or something like that to it based on their will color, be at the expo then. which is kind I of an interesting. So. I mean, since they're all all non age, probably it's something to be pushing pretty hard. So it may be. Well, I'll I mean, I mean, I'll try it if it's there. Absolutely, we can walk down there and tear it up. Yeah. Iowa <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you would be a good. Oh, well, I guess I could pull off Ralphie. Wait, That'd be funny as hell. I can't for do Halloween this year. We yes, should be yes, other yes. whiskey reviewers. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> whiskey, me whiskey in the six. I'm not that good looking. Oh my! That <laughs> guy's got a beard. Wow, I can. that's tough. So what's tough <laughs> about like. that? We would have to do two things because my wife puts on a big themed Halloween party this year, that's and idea, this though. year it's. Uh, <laughs> It's superheroes. superheroes. So if all the Sweet. other Scotch reviewers are considered See, superheroes. I was just thinking that, Robert. I was exactly I, thinking the same thing. I think I'm the only one who has to pick out my, uh, my thing. Awesome. I can be Bart. I can be Bart. <laughs> that would be awesome. I oh can do that. I'm doing, doing this thing. You guys just Let's see. test it! <laughs> you guys wake up my kids, there's going to be a problem. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Um, bought, bought the Dalmore King Alexander because of us. Wow, yeah, what did you think? And what did you think of it, sir? Yeah. Is it a four? I see that all the time. It's, um... <laughs> and what? It's curious. And you think of us? Yeah, oh, so I curious to the King Alexander. Really? I was yeah. researching yeah. National yeah. Scotch Day today yeah, online, the and there was, uh, there was an article by Forbes, of all places, and they interviewed There's five, two, you know, big wigs in the industry, what they would drink on National Scotch Day and why they would... Uh, why they would oh, drink it, how they, they would drink it. And one of them said that it. King Alexander yeah. the Third is what oh, they would drink. Know, really? Yeah. It's like, oh, that makes me feel good. Yeah, that's good. All right. I'm Who would yeah. want be? See, that's right. the problem. <laughs> They're like, the whiskey Well, if the wheel's going to come know. off, let's do this. <laughs> the whiskey bitch. <laughs> None for Mark, Bill. What are you talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Nothing at all. All right. So the wheels See? are off, so what are we going to wrap up? Right. Are we going to wrap this up? Good impression. Scott said he recognized good impression. <laughs> don't, so don't get me started, Scott. Cyrus says uh, King Alexander was amazing. I'm sipping. So the we King, got Eagle Rare right yeah, back there. The King Alexander, amazing. I agree. It's what I best. will say about it, though, is the less you get in the bottle and the longer you let it sit, oh, it, it loses, loses it. Amazing. It does yes. fall off. Um, so not completely. Don't hold on to it for too long, thinking you're savoring the best glass of your life, because the, the more it sits with oxygen on it, I, it just to me it fell off. Ah, ah. Uh, let's go sit there right there. So, I, oh wait, you know what? I, I don't know for sure. I, I'd be curious to see if the other reviewers have done Dunmore King of the Sand. Ask them. Hey, sorry. Scott, sure, you're on. Right. Sure. Put your face in there. I'm going to put an ankle as one. Well. Yeah, you are. I'm sure Ralphie's done it. So, so Scott, have you guys done the King Alexander? I'm interesting to see what your guys' rating is for yeah. us. I mean, that's a, our and best whiskey, one whiskey so in the six, and, you know, um, Swami's probably already off, but. Is one of those empty mm. that you have? Which one? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. they're all empty. We, those are all empty. Don't there. worry, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> said it's gone already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. That's my God. kind we, of party. We, uh, we can appreciate going through your scotch. <laughs> Waiting for a special case. Okay, and that's fine, Spirit. Don't open it and, and wait. Well, I mean, once you open it, I mean, you don't, well, have that you don't want to leave it like two-thirds empty. That's right. The, you once know, it gets below well a half, then you no, kind of need to start polishing off. I don't want to. Wasted if I'm not. What, so Scott, what did you guys give it that? I mean, that's 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 our top one. So yeah, far. he said he loved it. All right, that's good. <laughs> not, we're I, not, we're I, not I, no, I know you would love it because you're, you're me and you're yeah. me and Mark and Bart is this more. This distillery's this gone, guy. completely but, demolished. Yeah. So, Charlotte, uh -oh, uh -oh, Robert's Robert asking, would you pour? Yeah, would you just pour? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Why did it go uh -oh. back? Yeah, leave it out here. I'm, I'm up on a glass behind well, he, these. He's, 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 right back he's there. thinking about it. These guys right. are shocking. Well, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Enjoy we're, the comments? Okay, yeah. We're, uh, we're, we're getting, getting Robert, busy. we're pouring uh, We're pouring one that I didn't think I was going to have a chance to buy again. So we went up to Vine and Table last week. Oh, um, They've got cases of it. And so really? we're... And they have probably they got 30 a, or 40 bottles. Yeah. How much is that? So we walked in and... I had bought a bottle of this, I don't know, several right. months ago. It's, it's been a while. I figured it was gone. Um, but it's sitting in the middle of their scotch aisle. It's uh, the Imperial Distillery bottle that That's we bought. Um, and it's, it's got probably it's 20, 20 a 20-year-old Imperial scotch. Yeah. Imperial's gone. They don't make... Uh, 
make anything anymore. They tore the distillery down. But uh, this was matured in a hogshead, and it is bottle 198 of 261. And it's good shit. And it's uh, I'm not 50 swearing. Port, 50.2% ABV. Uh, natural color, non chill filtered. Um, the mic is that way. Our, yeah, uh, I'm looking around. Our way friend of mine at table, uh, Dennis, went and actually found this, this cask and bought it, bought the whole thing, and had it bottled specifically for fine at table. So, and it's amazingly good. It is. It's, uh, it's a good yeah. quality. And I could have saved it, but why would I do that? <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, that's, that's not they, really our style. They've got, you know, dozens of bottles left, so, so it may disappear mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mark, you got anything else in your notes? No, I don't. Now it's time for the wheels to come off. But I was wheels looking, are coming off. I, I looked back. Um, let me scroll back up. Mark had made a comment that, that he wanted like to hear it. Leanne's like story about the bagpipe band. It smells delicious. What? The bagpipe band? Leanne, Lee? you're on. Bagpipe. Bagpipe yeah. band. Yeah, I, I haven't met a stranger. Can y'all tell? Um, <laughs> so in Scotland, I go to this, go to Jura. You have to take two ferries to get there, and um, for this music festival, That's there's fun. one. There's the Jura Distillery. There's the Jura Hotel. There's a co-op grocery store. That's it. That's it. There's no nothing else. And so people camp. Um, or they do, they sleep in the cars, different things. I had hotel room for Friday night. Lucky you. But not Saturday night. So I met at the pub um, a bagpipe band, five guys from southern, wow. southwestern Scotland. What, what, what's the name and, of the band? What's the name of the band? Oh, uh, Caledonia Piper, something. Right. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Bad. That's not that bad. I was expecting something really bad. That's a little shady. Okay. All right. As you were it's saying. Bad. But um, so that. we were there, and uh, there was this, the matriarch of Jura is this woman named Maggie Doyle, and okay. she was Story. the social butterfly of the entire island. She <laughs> is the one who did everything, and she came up to us, and she's you know, very bubbly and invoking and hey where are you from and I open my mouth and it's quite evident where I'm from <laughs> so she looked at the band and the five guys and, and one of them had a, his wife with them and said where are y'all staying you know and where are you staying tonight and they said oh we're, we're in the caravan so they came over on the ferry in a trailer like a camping trailer sure. I am not gonna be staying in the caravan you're gonna stay at the big house tonight and then she looks at me, and she said, "When well, Lassie, where are you staying? I said, well, I have a room here tonight at the hotel, but tomorrow night I'll be sleeping in my car because there's no room at the end. <laughs> and she, oh, you're going to have to stay there. You're going to stay in the big house. <laughs> What's the big house? What the hell's the big house? Right? I know. <laughs> so the next day, um, I see the, the Pipers. And we're in the front, I think I've sent y'all the picture, but we're in front of Jura Distillery, and they love the fact that I'm from Louisiana. And they stood there, they, they played, but then they stood there and they serenaded me. There is a town called New Orleans, and they sang to me. It was crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, that's awesome. I love that. You know, it was, it was just really super. And then, then they said, you're not going to believe the big house. And I'm like, okay. So we end up going to the big house after the Cayley, um, which is very much like a Fado Doe in Louisiana. We have where the community gets together and the band's playing and there's dancing. And it was it was an extremely unbelievable experience. And like so we get to the big house. The big house uh -oh. is a 200-year-old church that had been gutted into a five-bedroom, five-bath home. Holy oh. shnikes. Like that some badass. Some mainlander's hunting lodge that she took care of. Oh. And I stayed in it. I mean, the walls were like a foot and a half thick. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't make this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, was, neat. it was so wonderful. And, and it got me to thinking about a lot of things, you know, because people were so very open and so kind in Scotland. And I'm thinking, if I'm sitting, 
you know, having lunch maybe at the Whole Foods and I hear someone with a Scottish accent, am I going to say, where do you, where, do you have a place to sleep tonight? Nope. Yeah, you know, not. that whole culture was a big eye-opening experience for me. And, um, and I did it the whole trip really on the cheap. And I, I can't say enough, if you don't think you can get there, figure out a way to get there. I got a super, super cheap flight. And yeah, I agree. Um, it, it, it's a doable thing, and it, it's it was eye opening for me the kindness that is in that country, and the scotch is really good. And, <laughs> and it's pretty affordable. The scotch yeah. was yeah, cheaper. Was oh, we found the cheap. scotch to be yeah. cheaper there than here. Yeah, yeah. food was cheap too. My goodness, it was just a great trip. I mean, it's actually not that bad. It was yeah. beautiful, and the scenery. Oh there's, my God, the scenery there's a great is great thread going on right I now. Know. You yeah. tear up. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, there's a there's while you were telling your story. There's a whole conver- side conversation going is on it movie about. Quotes? No, well, there is one church, there is one movie quote. Someone was was at, Spigot was asking, but it, it's a the 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 discussion about transparency oh, NAS. about NAS. Yeah. What, what's Let's in the about bottle? It. So, Open it. all right, you guys, you, you guys are talking about this. You guys are chatting on it. I, we're reading all the comments. Leanne, if you can read those comments. Um, I don't know. What's your guys' thoughts? I, personally, I guess since we started this, my personal is, is if, if you like the bottle, if you like what's in it, if it tastes good, I don't give a rat's ass how old it is. But on the same token, it's nice to know what's in it. I really appreciate what you comes in. You can respect it. I, res- sure. I mean, absolutely. Yeah. Um, don't hide it. I mean, just come out and say, yeah, this is three-year-old juice. And then I take a drink, I'm like, but it's damn good. Buy me another bottle of that wolf burn, right? <laughs> I mean, that's what, I, that's what I feel about it. Indeed. That's I, exactly right. I don't know. Which we did. Damn right. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I mean, and then and then on the same note, you know, you get into the coloring thing, and I don't uh, know. That's, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, the whole industry itself, they kind of had to go that way. I mean... What the NAS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're right. There's well, the market is huge right now. You don't, you, you they, can't they keep up with it. They they didn't bottle anything or cask anything 12 years, 15 years ago to, to handle the kind of the, volume that right. are right. right now. Right, the so demand. The, so my my view with the non age statement is, you know, you got to be upfront with it. Say it's non age, um, but the the concern with with pricing it and, and really the the pricing of non age statements is to the benefit of the distillery for sure. But if the master distillers do a great job and put together a great mix and a great uh, yeah, but that's material, what pisses me off. I mean, really? look at that McKellen rare cask up there. Yes, but you the thing they charge freaking two hundred and fifty bucks for that bottle, and 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 you know what? They're still trying to push it because they can't sell. Exactly. And the price is coming down, and that's the beauty that we have right now, is that if we can get a sample, we'll put it out there. Did I just and 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 out out yes. there. In the, Sorry, uh, Leanne. I'm cursing over out here. Out there on the internet, you, you've got so much access to, to these bottles, and you don't have to be the guinea pig necessarily. There's somebody's out there that's tried it and will say, whoa, do not pay that for that. It is absolutely not worth it. Some of the more reputable distilleries are smart enough to say, yeah, we're not going to get that for this. Let's down price it. And, so what's the comments looking it? like now? So I will say uh, there are some really good NASs. But I would also say NAS? that exactly. no age statement. Yeah. Okay. But I would also say that <clears throat> at some point you have to age a whiskey for a certain length of time to get a certain amount of quality out of it. So if you're looking for a deep, complex whiskey with a long finish, you're going to have to let it sit in a barrel or a couple of different kinds of barrels for an extended period of time to get those flavors to marry right. To tone it down, to bring out the good flavor. Right. Yeah. So, Travis Faircloth out there, you, you, good question. I got to be quite honest with you. That question, I, that caught me off guard as we got into this. You know, Leanne said that she found What's us when we didn't know much, and we didn't. And so, what? you read on this bottle, a, a newbie Scotch guy goes to the liquor store, and he's like, I got myself a, it's a single malt Scotch, you know. I, I picked that up. Right off the bat, my head thinks that I'm getting a bottle that came right out of that cask. That's not true. Single malt doesn't mean it came out of that single cask. It means it came out of the same the distilling process. Of you know what I mean? The it's, same distillery. Right. That's all it means. Right. So it could be a, that cask and this cask married together. And so Travis is saying he's not quite fond of that. That's kind of misleading. 
It's misleading well, until you understand the yeah, lingo it's, of the it's, industry. It's only misleading because, I mean, the definition of a single malt, the definition of single barrel and small right. batch and Which all those kind of things are... are kind of funny because when the trivia question, I had a different trivia question tonight for tri tonight's trivia question was to name the five types of, of scotch, the, the different categories, if you will, the distinct categories, which is what, single malt, single grain, um, yeah, scotch whiskey, uh, blended, blended scotch and whiskey. blended scotch, blended, uh, blended grain, blended malt, single malt, blended malt, or yeah, <laughs> single malt, single grain, blended malt, blended grain, or blended scotch. Yeah. Wow, lots of great comments. I mean, Why'd you put that into a song? I know, geez, that's I'll hilarious. I need to freaking write a. Lee, it's all coming off the wheels. Yep. <laughs> you're a song about it. I can hear. I'm gonna start cursing like a sailor over here, Lee. You just watch this. John, <laughs> I agree with you. Kraska <laughs> Storm, great bottle. Oh, um, shit. <laughs> really great comments, guys. Keep them up. Nice stuff. Yes. Yeah, and so so the other the the, the uh, on the flip side of that, you can get some 17 year old scotches that are really bad. So just because it's been in a barrel for 17 years does not mean that it's great scotch. Depending on the distillery, it's depending on the, right. uh, the, sure. the uh, person that puts together the bottle, it just is not good stuff. So what you need to do right. is when you see a bottle, look it up online, talk about it. Yeah, knock, so knock. Five knock. minutes left. Five minutes to. Minute knock. What are you looking at? Uh, so, t what's what's t uh, test dummies researching? What I didn't. I'm mm. trying to. The Kenosha Kickers. Kenosha Kickers. I have no idea what that is, but. Oh, that's the name of John Candy's band. <laughs> oh. <laughs> gotcha. uh, I will so, say, <laughs> Scott's pretty creative. He always. He watches the reviews, the live reviews, I think, and he always has a little saying in the back. and. I've got a couple of them. A couple of them, I'm like, I have no idea what that is. But we used to do something like that when we had live movies. When we had movies playing in the background, I dropped movie quotes from the movie that was playing was every great. time. We <laughs> love that. I mean, we could. But here's the problem, right? One a is too distracting. B, we're gonna run out of movies. There you <laughs> go, Sean. There's a lot of good movies out there. Right? <laughs> right? You'll never. You'll never shut Mark up because he's gonna talk about the movie. I, the entire I'll just sit here and movie quote all night. Well, the key well, is we're gonna so do that anyway. We've got better. Right. We're gonna watch a new one. The focus yeah. is so, you know, Black before shampoo. before it gets too late, Lee, thank you so yes, much for carving out time to you. out of your Vermont thank trip you. and your, yes. you know, thank you for the scotch you sent us that we had a chance to review. I absolutely loved it. Great um, scotch. I think everybody's enjoying it. Oh, that's awesome. We've yeah. got a lot of comments going. I found, like, you put our Scotch for Dummies um, hanger on um, my five-year anniversary work uh, whiskey decanter. Oh, <laughs> nice. And uh, as nothing says, after five years of work, you need a whiskey decanter. Damn um, right. Well, that's a work there great anymore. work. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, we really, Mark and I, have a great standing Thursday night date to watch you all. And we um, appreciate what y'all do. We know it takes away um, your time. Yes, you're having fun, but... It gives all of us a really good way to learn about new scotches and new things and, and then kind of spread the word. I've got one um, of my best friends is a diehard bourbon girl, and I swear I'm trying to get her. <laughs> you got to convert her. that girl. <laughs> convert her. <laughs> Not everybody can be saved, Lee. <laughs> you watch. You get put that maker's mark down and pick up something decent. Nice. <laughs> cheers to you. Thank well, you so much for being yeah, with us. And, and, and a patron as well. Yeah, our, our patrons out there. But, you know, she, just as Leanne said, that she likes to every Thursday night to date with us. It's not just us. It's all you guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, the whole conversation yeah. that's going on, the whole chat conversation is good for everybody involved, Drew's including us. So, yeah, Drew just got cut off by somebody. Thanks, so Alex. I think that's Alex. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> Wait till Discord tomorrow when you ask me a question. I'm going to ignore your ass. Right. So... Anyway, um, Drew, before we close, announcements, upcoming guests, and collabs. Yes. So you want to at least throw that out there yeah, on the calendar Yeah, next week, quick. let me let me put the calendar up real quick while you're talking, and we'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah, second. I just want everybody to know what we've got on the calendar. There's a lot of collaborations we got going on, like Sunday with uh, Scott and Bart over at Test uh, Dummies. Right. we got Whiskey and the Six coming up. The 17th is, is Whiskey and the Six. The 24th is Whiskey Dictionary. And the 31st is Swami. The yeah, he got moved, Swami got moved to the 31st. So... Lots on the calendar, and hopefully we can keep that calendar rolling. Uh, there's a lot of people out there. There's a few that we haven't really even chatted with that I'm actually interested in reaching out and, and chatting with. I know that um, on our Facebook, I shared, or it was Facebook and uh, and um, Twitter, there was a, a link from a blogger called Whiskey Lady. 
um, mm-hmm. by independent bottlers, yep. and it was a great write up. I yeah, mean, I read it. I was. I mean, I shared it out on Twitter and Harvey because it was just really good information, and uh, so I wouldn't mind reaching out to her to see what's going on in her world and, and Scotch. But um, that's our calendar. Keep on the lookout for it. We hope yep. everybody shows up for our. Cl- you know collaborations and whatnot and we got a lot of good reviews coming up too we do we, do. we got a we got a um a poop ton i don't want to curse because leanne <laughs> uh, leanne you got <laughs> scared <laughs> <I'm scared. laughs> she's making fun of me because he'll I, sound like a sailor in about three minutes <laughs> yep. but we do have a lot of scotch uh coming up to review and a lot of, mark is my spirit animal <laughs> <laughs> All right, wheels are coming off. <laughs> he took it's the glasses all... off and everything. <laughs> Cheers, Slasha. <laughs> hey, real oh, quick. It's a party now. Real quick, the website is getting updated. We've got some special uh, designs coming out pretty soon. So we got some Can't shirts wait coming for those. up. They're going to come out pretty Dude, soon. Dude, this guy is a master of design. Ah, damn, that's that. good. But thanks so much for taking care of us, guys. We love you guys. And we'll see you next like week. Like us on Facebook. Like us on Cheers, YouTube. Cheers, everybody. Or, yeah. Subscribe. Hey guys. All the above. All Happy the above. National Scotch Day. Yes. Happy, Happy National, National Scotch, Scotch Day. Day. Cheers, Lee. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, we appreciate Lee. You. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>